Hi guys, it's Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. So I'm in Ontario right now, or close to, East, well actually Eastvale, and I wanted to stop by this place over here. Um, I haven't been here in probably like, probably like over two years. Um, so I wanted to come back over here and give it a try. If you can see up here, it's the Masala House. Man, last time I was over here, they had such great food. Last time I was over here, they had such great food over here. I wanted to come back, check the place out, and uh, you know, just see if there still tastes just as good as it was before. Uh, it's a, it's in a nice little spot. It's a little mom and pop's place. But man, let's go inside, check it out because I've been here. I love the food. So let's just see what what else they have to offer. Okay, guys. So come on in. Let's let's go check it out. Okay, guys. I'm so excited. They have some amazing food in here. I mean, check this out. I mean, you got top quality, you got delicious flavors. I mean, these foods are some of the most spicy, flavorful foods that you can actually taste. Uh, it's not like just regular American food. Like, every single item has seasonings. They have just a variety of textures and flavors. It's actually just absolutely delicious. And you have to stop and get the garlic naan. It's so good. Nice and garlicky. Or even get the plain naan. They're both just very, very, very tasty. I tried this a while back, and man, I was blown away by the flavors. It's just, man, if you've never had it before, you've got to give it a try. It's just really, really, really good. And look at their prices on their menus. The prices on the menu are actually extremely good. Their combo plates, look at that. You got a two item combo plate over here for $8.49. You go anywhere else for a two item, you're gonna be paying about $12. Easily $12 to $14. Um, like I said, this place is really, really great. It's the Masala House. Uh, it's right off Hamner Avenue. Um, so check it out, Yelp it. Man, it's some really good food in here. They also have a wide variety of desserts that they have in here. Um, they just look freshly made, good quality. Man, I'm getting hungry just looking at this stuff. I mean, this is not your traditional desserts. So check this place out. I'm gonna order some food because I'm really excited about this. And uh, I'll show you what I get, guys. All right. So stay tuned. Okay guys, check this out. I just ordered the tiki chicken masala and also a spicy beef. Um, we have the white rice and we have the sauce on top. This is a vegetable samosa and he gave me two different kinds of dipping sauces. Uh, one looks like a chutney or you know green, green sauce. Maybe a, another soy sauce on the side. Uh, but look at this. This is freshly made garlic knot. Absolutely beautiful. Like, you can't beat that. I got a two item combo. Plus the samosa. All this food. Right around $10, guys. $10. You can't beat that. Their food is delicious. It's amazing. Like I said, if you're in the area, please come on by and check it out. This is Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. If you like the video, please click on the like button. Hit the notification button so if you want to see more videos like this, then you will be notified. Please subscribe so you can see all the different variety of restaurants that I will be checking out. So we are close to Norco or East Vale, so we will be bouncing around still in the Inland Empire. Okay guys, it's time for the taste test. I already know I'm gonna love it. Um, man, this garlic naan is right out of the oven. <laughs> like, look at that. So much garlic butter. It just looks amazing. Like, I wanna just take a little bite. Mmm. Man, that's fresh, that's good. It's almost like a pizza dough with, with garlic and butter on it. I want to dip it in this tiki masala sauce. Remember that was just absolutely delicious. So I'm going to dip it in there. Check that out guys. Look at that. Wow.
Wow, hands down. Kind of tomatoey. Not spicy at all. It's just very delicious. Very, very good. Let's try this other one. He said it's a little spicy. It's a meat. So we'll try and take a piece of that. Dip it in that sauce. Kind of make it a mess here. A little bit of a mess. Look at that. Let's give that a try. Man, that's good. That is so good. The only thing I'm missing is a fork. I need a fork or a spoon for the rice. So hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, back to the main event. So I got my spoon. We're going to dig into this white rice with the meat on top. It's still steaming. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see it? Look at how delicious that looks. Check that out. Take a bite. Let me tell you guys. Speaker. We're going to take a bite. Look at that. Steaming still. White rice with the meat sauce on top. Good for you, healthy. Man, if you've never tried this food, don't be intimidated by it. If you're used to eating regular food, burgers, burritos, you know, lasagna, pasta, whatever, and you want something with a lot of flavor and a little bit of spice, you have to try this type of food. I was always afraid of it. I was like, no, I don't think I can handle that kind of stuff. The minute I tried it, I was in love. I was like, why didn't I try this like 30 years ago? So guys, amazing. The rice with the sauce on top, spicy, it's flavorful. It's seasoned right. It just tastes amazing. Every single thing has a different flavor to it. The naan with the sauce, incredible. A little bit of tomatoey. Let's try the meat again. Let's get some more of that. I'm not much for digging my food up with my hands, but for this, I'm, I will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Try some of this green sauce on the naan. Mmm, minty. It's good. Very good. Last thing I'm going to try is the vegetable samosa. Big, fat, little, almost like a dumpling size. Nicely deep fried. It's vegetable. So we're going to try and break this open. Oh, look at that. It's got peas in it. It's got potato. You guys, take a look at that. Look at that. Now we're going to dip this in the sauce that he gave me. Let's try the brown sauce first. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Where have you been all my life? The sauce is sweet. I thought it was going to be like a soy sauce, but man, that is so good. I'm going to try the green sauce on there now. Mmm. Two completely different things. Green sauce is a little minty. And the brown sauce, a little sweet, but man, it's so, so, so good. I would definitely go with the brown sauce. Not that the green sauce is bad, but I would definitely go with the brown sauce. Very good vegetable samosa. I really like that. 
that sauce. That's that's fire. That's so good. So, anyways, guys, if you happen to be in the area, go check this place out. They're very nice. They're kind. The food is always delicious. Um, and just try different things. Try different stuff you've never tried before. I asked him. I said, I've only had the chicken tiki masala. What do you recommend? He said, do you like something spicy? I said, yeah. He recommended this one. This one is very good. So, guys, give it a try. Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. We will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching.